Hey all, in this lesson for the filter class we're going to be focusing on the plastic wrap filter and this is actually kind of a fun filter. It can make things look like they're shrink wrapped where the the air is all sucked out of them <laughs> or um, maybe a blister pack and I actually at one time a long time ago and I tried to find it to share with you and it was really funny somebody had joked about um, plastic wrapping me or making me look like a smurf in a plastic I turned myself blue and used this filter and and uh, oh I think somebody said they threw smurf slime on me and I made myself look slimy and blue I don't remember what it was I couldn't find it on my blog I couldn't find it in the uh, my files. It was pretty funny. I wish I could have found that to share with you. Um, but uh, it is kind of a fun filter to make things kind of look shiny and different. It's most often used either with blending modes or in conjunction with other um, uh, filters. Uh, so make sure you um, play with things. Uh, and here's uh, what I did with it. Uh, for my layout. Um, the photo of course is normal and then I have my matting and my uh, other things but I just used it in the background. You can see it here um, pretty well on top in the water area and I have an original of that background here for us to play with. Just go to the, whoops, let's get on the right layer filter artistic and plastic wrap and um, what is kind of cool about this is it um, takes the highlights which is your highlight strength and um, makes it kind of a monochromatic highlight so if you up these highlights I might zoom in so you can see this better it it really makes it more of a plastic wrap. Of course, as always, you just move the sliders around until you um, get to something. And and then when it does the this and the sliders, it also takes the the shadow areas and and makes them darker. So kind of gives a bev a shiny bevel to it. So here's moving the detail slider and you know overdoing anything sometimes is not a good deal um, here it is backing it off and then we have our smoothness slider kinda makes it look uh, like it less bubbles and more like it's just coated over the top. That's kind of what the smoothness layer looks like. This filter works best on inanimate <laughs> objects, even though I did, you know, use it to smurf myself with slimy stuff one time. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't work really well on people. Um, works best on inanimate objects. And, you know, you can really get something artistic with it um, and fun. Uh, <laughs> It is a fun filter. I love watching it. But then you would just click OK and, and you have your, your thing here. Um, I think, uh, what did I use? I actually left it normal. I did play with a, a many different blending modes. You can see it now blending into the original here. And um, didn't find one that really struck me. I played with the opacity. I decided to, for my purposes, that I would just, um, I almost went with luminosity. I kind of thought that was cool. But I actually ended up just deciding to go back to normal because um, when I had my other things on here and I was going through those blending modes, um, such as, you know, this one was really cool, I found it made it too bright and um, then my eye went to the background rather than the photo and that is not our goal. She, so um, even the luminosity did that so I just stuck with normal. But I look forward to seeing what uh, you can do with this one. It's pretty fun. <laughs> 